Hey guys, I'm Zamir from XTC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna give you five beat making tips for beginners that you can use in Cubase right now. So let's go. The first tips that I have for you guys is to use sampler track for your drums. Uh, don't sleep on sampler track guys. It's one of the best features in Cubase. Let me show you how I make drum beats using the sampler track. Okay, first open your right zone, click on media tab. Type the name of the instrument that you're looking for. So I'm going to type kick. Okay, I like that kick sound. So I'm going to right click on it and select create sampler track. Okay, now I'm going to search for snare sound. Okay, I like that snare sound. I'm going to right click and select create sampler track. Okay, I'm going to do the same for a hi-hat as well. Okay, just for the demonstration for this video, I'm going to use this three sound to create a dope drum beat. Okay, that's the tip number one guys, use sampler track for your drums. Okay, the next tips I have for you is to use step designers to create hi-hat rolls. Okay, let me show you, it's very simple. Select your hi-hat track, go to MIDI inserts, select step designers. Step designer is a very cool plugin, it's a built-in Cubase plugin. And it's very useful to use for hi-hat rolls, snare rolls, and all those kind of stuff. But you can do a lot more than creating hi-hat roll with this plugin, alright? But I'm going to show you the easiest way to use this plugin to create hi-hat rolls. I'm going to start with a very basic 8-note pattern. If you like to use half-time pattern, you can increase the step size to 32. Right now it's in 16 so I'm gonna change it to 32. Okay now I'm programming this pattern in half time. You can also increase the size of this pattern to 32 to create a longer hi-hat rolls. If you like these hi-hat patterns, you can record this pattern to its own MIDI event. Click on the record icon and hit the record button. Now you got yourself a MIDI event with hi-hat rolls. So yeah, everything is fine in this world. So the next tips that I have is to use chord pads to create interesting and really out of the box rhythmic pattern that you usually won't use when you're using a keyboard to create your chord progression. Okay, now let's bring new synth on board. So I'm just gonna create Halion Sonic SE. Okay. Okay, and uh, let me just, uh, okay, I think Pizzicato is fine. Yeah, let's use Pizzicato for this demonstration. Okay, I used my keyboard to play that part, but now I'm going to show you how you can use the chord pads to create more different rhythmic patterns. Okay, in the lower zone, click on chord pads tab. Now you can create your own chords. So now I'm going to go for C minor, 7th, E flat for the bass. 
Okay, now the second chord that I'm gonna create is gonna be F minor 7th with E flat for the bass. Now I'm gonna record the chord progression using my MIDI controller. Now let me quantize this. If I use my keyboard to create this chord progression, I don't think I would have choose these rhythmic patterns. So this is why I like to use chord pads sometimes. So this is my tips number 3 using chord pads to create chord progression for your beats. Okay, now the next tip I have is to use the arranger track to arrange the beats, alright? So, but before that, I'm gonna have to create a different section for verse and the chorus. So, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, now I've created two simple sections for the verse and the chorus. So, let's hear it. Okay, I created both this section using the chord pads. Now I want to arrange this using the arranger track. Okay, so first you have to create an arranger track. And I'm gonna move this arranger track up here because I like to see things from the top, if you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm gonna use the pencil tool to create an arranger event. Okay, you just have to click and drag it across the bar. So I'm gonna drag it to two bars and rename and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two bars okay if you click on the arranger track on your left side in the inspector you can see arrangers event okay now the event that we created earlier is being listed down here in arrangers event okay now you can just quickly drag this up in the inspector window to create the arranger chain if you want to repeat this section, you can just drag this up or you can just double click on it and enter the amount of time you want it to repeat. It's that simple. Now I'm going to repeat the verse twice and the chorus twice. Enable the arranger track and hit play. <laughs> If you don't like this arrangement you can change it okay so I'm gonna change the amount of repeat for the verse to 1 and chorus to 3 let's hear it. If you like this arrangement and you want to finalize this arrangement, go to the arranger chain, click on flatten change. And now you have yourself an amazing arrangement. Okay guys, the next tip is going to be the short one, I promise. This tip is very very useful when you're arranging for strings or drum parts, okay? Sometimes when, when you record your drums, you record in one MIDI event and you but you want to have a separate MIDI event for each of the drum parts. Okay? I'm gonna show you how to solve this issue. Go to your MIDI events, right click on it, go to dissolve part and and select dissolve to lanes and hit OK. Now all the drum parts that you've recorded has its own MIDI event so you can use it to edit later. Okay guys, that's my 5 beat making tips for beginners in Cubase. I hope you find value in this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button and share it with your friends. And also turn on the notification so you won't miss my next video which is coming very very soon. Alright? So thank you for watching. God bless.